I'm gonna be honest with you, it's the same salty taste in your mouth you get. This is just all so wrong. <laughs> Welcome back to the Jigs Reviews. Got us some vodka today, vodka. So um, I saw this a long, long time ago. Um, so it's Mermaid Salt Vodka, small batch from the Isle of Wight Distillery. It, um, try and block my ugly mug out. You can't see the bottle better. I saw it ages ago. So they also, you may have seen, not this bottle, but the gin in um, in a lot of shops, I've seen a gin on the shelf loads. They do a, it's like a blue, a bigger bottle obviously, but it's a blue version and they also do a pink gin. Now the bottles are amazing, lovely, uh, sort of like a mermaid sort of thin, kind of bumpy, lovely, knobbly, for her pleasure, kind of a feel to it. Rip for her pleasure. And, um, but I've never seen the vodka, and I do like vodka. This is mermaid salt vodka, so I'm kind of hoping it's got a tinge of the sea kind of taste to it. You kind of hope so. Obviously, I don't know because I'll try. But I've not seen this in the shop anywhere. I found it online, and I was just not willing to pay the money plus delivery for it. Because at the end of the day, as much as I love vodka, it's still vodka. And... I'm more of a whiskey and a rum guy, so to spend a lot of money on some vodka is, you know, I need to be feeling quite flushed to be able to do that, and it's vodka. I'm not going to feel that flushed to do that. So, uh, especially, I mean, like, you can tell the difference in smoothness, and, you know, um, if it's got a better sort of softer, easier swallow, because... Um, I'm no vodka connoisseur, so as much as I like it, I don't tend to get, it's more of a smoothness thing, you know, it, does it go down nicely when it's flat standard vodka, if you know what I mean. Um, I mean, obviously, I, I like, you know I mean, I've, I've had a lot of Chiroc, um, obviously a lot of them are flavoured, but as, as bog standard vodka, they're, they're plain normal vodka. I like it because it's smooth, maybe it's because it's done with grapes, not potato, and all you know the normal standard style of vodka i don't know but i'm hoping this is going to be something different so I, when i did if you look at my past videos i did a couple of videos on some um, rum and it was rock distiller i think the name was i got a couple of uh little sample bottles and this was in the same place like, this was there as well so i saw this as like yes perfect i can pick it up just spend a fiver and if it's not worth the money then no and if it is worth the money then at least i know that it's worth buying a bigger bottle so as always, little samples are good. It's such a shame that, I know obviously it's a cost thing, but if all manufacturers of whiskies and rums and vodkas, if they all did little mini sample bottles, there's probably a good chance you might actually get more sales because you can try something, you can actually decide if you like it or not because there's nothing worse than splashing out 50, 60 quid on a bottle of alcohol and it ends up being a mixer because it's just not not worth it on its own, so. And also that's what I make these videos for. I know obviously everyone's opinion is different, but you know, if you seem to feel like you've got the same sort of likes and dislikes as a certain YouTuber or whatever, then you know, it might help you decide whether it's worth it or not. And if you still get it wrong, then don't come looking for my head because I'm sorry, I'm not you. But anyway, you've heard enough of me yakking on. Let's actually just crack this damn thing open and drink it. So. I normally put vodka in the freezer. I prefer it cold, but obviously it sort of numbs some of them flavours, I feel. So uh, it's at room temperature today. Get a bit in there. So, um, yeah, I do. So this is, so it's a 5CL bottle. It's 40% it's alcohol, this is. Like I said before, mermaid salt vodka. Hey, ooh, 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 ooh. You took the glass out then. You lost the hole. Um, I, sh I don't mean how much about this really. So there's not going to be a lot on here. I should have looked more how many times distilled. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll research that while I've edited it and it'll be here. That's how many times it's been distilled. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, here we are. It's clear. 
He's Wodka, what do you expect? All right. It smells like vodka. It smells exactly like vodka. It's not sharp, it's no punch in the nose. It is quite oily, it's quite, a, it's quite an oily, gloopy whiskey, judging by it's holding onto the glass, but all right, let's just do the taste test, shall we? Not a lot of burn. It is 40%, so I don't expect it to. Now, are we getting, it's called salt vodka, I'm kind of hoping. I think I know. So this is my brain telling me otherwise. I am getting a salty feel in my mouth. And that's what she said. But, um, giggity, 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 goo. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's the same salty taste in your mouth you get. This is just all so wrong. Have, if you've ever had an ulcer before, you put some salt in some warm water and you swish it around your mouth. Well, I'm getting that feeling with this, but not too much salt. Obviously you, you put quite a bit in if you are so on and so forth. But yeah, this, it's like, it's, it's like it's been lightly dressed with salt. And I think because obviously it's at room temperature as well, all, of, all, of, all the feels I'm getting for this is if I'm trying to cure an ulcer, basically. Um, yeah. But it's a pleasant vodka, it's smooth. Not too much burn. I, I can imagine, you know, if I did do what I normally do and freeze this, not that it freezes, I mean, I mean, have it frozen, have it cold in the freezer, it would um, be so smooth. You would have no no issues at all banging a shot on that back. If you do it the old, as like I said, I work, I work with... Uh, Latvian and Lithuanian lads and it's customary to have a shot of vodka every now and then and this one would definitely go down very easily. But I'm definitely feeling like this is a ulcer fixer upper. So yeah. But you know it's a decent whiskey. I mean whiskey. I wish it was whiskey. It's a di oh, wow. That got saltier on that last one. Definitely felt there's a lot more salt in there. I don't know, I, I, I like it. In a weird way. Yeah. It's a strange feeling, but I do actually, hmm, it's nice. But odd. So yeah, I think I'll leave that there. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Everything's in details below. Um, if you're a massive vodka fan and you like salt, then yeah, Mermaid Salt Vodka, Isle of White Distillery. Go and get your Mermaid's Bath Water, which would normally be used to describe some sort of hard to come by Isle of Scotch, but no, this is vodka. And I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next Jigs Reviews. Fishy, fishy, fishy.